This is just incredibly exciting. I mean, they've actually found a lost city of the builders. Let's not get carried away, Slim. What they found was one wall. So far. But who knows what might be buried deeper under the sand. Our instrument readings indicate that you might be right, Colonel Griffin. I knew it. We're witnessing galactic history being made. Don't you feel humble? Actually, I feel hungry. Care to join me in the commissary for some chow, Consuela? I'd love to. I hear their soy pro tastes like genuine cow. Cow leather, you mean. Amazing. We could be on Pluto and Dash would find a woman to fall for. He's just doing his job. After all, we're here as an escort to the United System's top scientists. Besides, wouldn't you rather be here watching this than having lunch with the lovely Dr. O'Shaughnessy? I think there's something wrong with your oxygen mix. Travers to Griffin. Come in, Slim. Roger, Bill. What is it? You guys have got a whole lot of trouble coming your way. There's a big sandstorm coming your way out of the northeast. ETA, less than an hour. Thanks, Bill. Trouble? I'll say. There's a cloud on our horizon, and it doesn't have a silver lining. Get everyone into the Starmax, quickly. Storms can last for months. Every trace of the site could be lost. We've left out the tracers there. When the storm's over, we can find it. It may be buried again, but if we must start over, we will. You're taking this well, Consuela. I know you've searched all your life for this find. It's the Martian way. Life is hard here. One must adapt, if one is to survive. Where to now? Orders are to head for the base at Burroughs City. This Star Max is due for routine maintenance. Hey, great. I can visit Tom and Jenny. They'd love to see their Uncle Slim again. It sure is nice of you to take us riding in your laser rack, Bob. Well, you kids should know how to handle vehicles like this, just in case there's ever an emergency. Like to steer for a while, Jenny? You bet! Hey, no fear! When do I get to drive? Be patient and wait your turn, Tommy. Wee, this is fun! Where are we now, Bob? We're getting near the Vals Marineris, Jenny. Uh-oh. Looks like a sandstorm up ahead. Better let me drive, Jenny. We've got to get back to Burroughs City. If we get caught in it, it could foul up our instruments. We might get lost. Are you all right? Uh-huh. I think so. What happened? We broke through the sandstone crust. Looks like we'll have to radio for help. Uh-oh. Looks like the radio's broken. That's okay. Our suit radios have enough power. Lieutenant Bob Anders calling Burroughs City. That's funny. It's not working. You mean we're trapped down here? No, no, honey, of course not. They'll find us by our suit tracer signals. We can't stay here, not with all that sand coming down. Let's move over there to wait it out. I'm scared. It's spooky down here. Yeah. What if there's monsters? Nothing to be scared of. If there ever was anything alive down here, it's been gone for millions of years. That's strange. Never seen rock like this before. Ah! I knew it! There are monsters! Tom, Jenny, we! 
Wait, it's just a sculpture of some kind. You'll get lost. Come back. Well, Slim is going to see his family, and Consuela and I thought we'd check out the sights, such as they are. You're welcome to come with us, Crowbar. Well, I don't want to be a third wheel. Why should that bother you all of a sudden? Bad news? Maybe. Seems Jenny and Tom are out with Bob Anders and a laser rat. They're overdue. I'm worried that they might have been caught in that storm. Maybe we'd better go look for them. Yeah, maybe we'd better. What is it, Bob? Some ancient city of the builders. Has to be. Footsteps! What? Footsteps! I heard Bob's footsteps behind us. You're right. That means there's air down here. Maybe so, but let's keep our helmets on just to be safe. Come on, we've got to find a way out of here. I think we're near the excavation site. It's hard to tell. The sandstorm has changed everything. Any sign of them, Crowbar? I'm getting some very faint readings. Might be suit tracers. Maybe we ought to get some air back up to... Look at that! We were worried that the sandstorm would bury it. Instead, it did our job for us. I don't care about the city now. I just want to find Tom and Jenny. Don't worry, Slim. We will. Hey! What's going on? Hey! Breaking. We must have broken through the crust. No. We're on some kind of platform. We're being taken into the city. Imagination. What do we do now? Hey, you're the scientist. You tell us. Any suit tracer readings? None. But according to this, there's air out there. Oxygen-nitrogen mix. We know that Mars had a much thicker atmosphere millions of years ago. Evidently, some of it was trapped below the surface. I wouldn't recommend breathing it. We don't know where it's been. Anything in the rule book about proper Starcom procedure in Alien City, Slim? We've got to get out of here and find Tom and Jenny. Makes sense to me. That's not necessary. According to our sensor, the kids are in here. What? Okay, let's go search for them. Prepare to power deploy. Hey, what happened? The engine just died. Looks like if we go anywhere, it's going to be on foot. Maybe we can still find them with this. You know, I'm getting... 
let me guess, a bad feeling about this? How'd you know? Why this tunnel? Why not? Fair enough. What is it? I'm scared. to get in? I don't think we have a lot of choice. We're running low on air. Maybe there's a team of archaeologists at the other end of this. This is incredible! Builders were obviously non-human. Notice the design of the chair. This looks like some kind of information terminal. Careful, Crowbar, don't touch anything. Hey, come on, Dash. I didn't just fall off the Star Freighter this morning, you know. I'm getting tired of this. While we're wasting time here, Tom and Jenny and Bob could be in bad trouble. Roger. Whoa! Uh-oh. Now look what you made me do. What do we do now? Just to be on the safe side, I suggest we get out of here fast. What? <laughs> Amazing! Evidently, there's still power in these machines even after millions of years. Look, what's that? Maybe it means exit. Let's hope so. Come on. Oh, that's hot. Huh? Looks like the end of the line. We're still underground, and we don't have much air left. Our radios are still on the fritz. Keep moving, kids. It's all we can do. Man, just when I think I'm beyond being impressed. This must be the central monitoring and control area for the whole city. If only we could communicate with it. A secret it could tell us. Yeah, like the way out. Suppose it heard it? More to the point, did it like what it heard? Bob, I, I can't breathe. We gotta take off our helmets. Okay, get yours off. I'll help Jenny with hers. I can breathe. Seems to be okay, so far. It's awful stale. Just be glad it's not carbon dioxide. Come on, you two. We're not out of this yet. What's going on? Hey, I'm getting a reading. There's someone that way. 
Come on. It might be Tom and Jenny. What about all of this? We might get another chance like this, but Bob and the kids will have no chance unless we go. the storm and what happened we'll figure it out later right now let's get these three back to borough city good idea i've had enough of this place monsters down there. They weren't monsters. They saved our lives. That's what I remember, too. When we found you in the Harv 7, you had your helmets on and full air tanks. I can't explain it. That's okay. We can't explain how the Harv 7 got moved from where we left it. Not to mention the laser rat. And there's the little matter of that mysterious sandstorm that has hidden all trace of the city once again. The traces we left there don't seem to work anymore. It'll be a long time before we find it again, if we do. It's as if that big computer, or whatever it was, showed us all the door and then hid the house. Organic senility in the memory banks, maybe. After all, it is millions of years old. I don't know. I think it knew exactly what it was doing. Well, I'm just glad everyone got out okay. Oh, what have you got in your pocket, Jenny? Oh, I almost forgot. This was in here when I woke up. A little bit of knowledge. Looks like that's all we're allowed to have. For now, anyway. Oh. 